Okay, I've been asked how to adjust the anticipator on these mechanical thermostats if you don't have a meter to check the amp draw uh, of the control circuit. Well, I'll take the cover off, and there's various ways these are set up, but this is a fairly common one here. Uh, you're looking for something that says longer cycles on it someplace or something like that. Okay, and there's a pointer somewhere. Now this one's pointing to about 3.6 or something like that. Um, if it is cycling too often, what I would do is I would move this on this side of this dial about a quarter of an inch. Or maybe half uh, a tenth of an amp. That's what these little marks are here that's four tenths of an amp five tenths six and so on uh, I'd move it if it was uh, cycling too short where it was only cycling for just a minute or so and then shutting off then I would move it towards uh, longer cycles a quarter inch at a time if it's the other way around uh, where it is getting too hot and then it's getting too cold I would Turn it the opposite way uh, towards shorter cycles. And just move it a quarter inch. Uh, let it run for probably a day. See if you still have the same issue with it. Move it another quarter inch until either you run out of movement on the dial or it settles down. Other things that can happen that will affect this will be if the thermostat for longer cycles, if the cycles are too long, the thermostat uh, may not be the problem. It could be that uh, something is blocking the registers that are allowing air to move throughout the house. Uh, could be the uh, thermostat is located incorrectly where it's in a dead air space sometimes that'll do it uh, another one if your cycles are too short usually uh, there's a hole right behind this thing where the wires go through plug the hole with some uh, like silicone or something like that or just some foam tape or some silly thing to cover up the hole because sometimes that hole goes down to an unconditioned space and when the furnace fires up the pressure differences will uh, allow air to move through there and either turn it on or shut it off so those are a few little tips on that if you don't have a meter to check one of these things just a quarter inch at a time longer cycles of course means it's too hot and too cold shorter cycles means it's running really short periods of time and perhaps not catching it up to temperature when it runs. And that's it on adjusting the anticipator without a meter.